So with MoneySocket, the access to the Lightning Network is done through a socket connection. So you can have a wallet that's based, you know, it's a very thin application based in a browser tab like this that's consuming from that socket to get the balance, and then it can um, it can transact over the Lightning Network. So if you have two wallets, uh, of course, you can uh, do the traditional way of copying a Bolt 11 over or scanning if these are running on a phone. But with MoneySocket, we want to provide programmatic access to the wallets. So this is a basic application that can consume two socket connections from two different wallets, and then it can move money in between them. So if you uh, give it an amount, it can request uh, a Bolt 11 um, from one and then pass it to the other to be paid, and then the balance will update over the socket. So if I replace one of those two uh, wallets with a stable wallet and I connect that into the same application, I'm now presented with uh, euros on one side and satoshis on the other side. So what a stable wallet is, so in the same way with a satoshi wallet, I can vary the amount of value being presented up upstream. Uh, a stable wallet does the same with the amount of satoshis in the background to keep it stable at a certain exchange rate. Um, so these are talking in satoshis. Uh, but at the same time, I can still transact in Satoshis. So if I'm operating Euros, I can buy one Euros worth of Satoshis. Or I can sell, uh, you know, a thousand Satoshis into my Euro wallet. Um, so in this way, we're, we're trading between two currencies uh, based on this stable wallet provider providing that guarantee of stability. Now, if I go and replace the other Satoshi wallet with a different stable wallet, uh, and this is operating in Canadian dollars, um, I'm presented with an interface here between two fiat currencies. So in the background, um, underneath the user interface, this is speaking in Satoshis, and then if I want to do a transaction, it figures out um, the, the amount of Satoshis to generate the Bolt 11 at, and then as that Bolt 11 is paid, uh, both sides can do their accounting in their, um, in their given uh, fiat currency. So I can go between Euros and Canadian here quite readily utilizing the Lightning Network. So this is open source. Uh, you can get our libraries on GitHub. Um, so you can add them to your application to connect to over socket to access a Lightning Network provider um, and program money around like this. So yeah, thanks for watching.